We are the Gaming Burritos. You're watching POD. Peace on demand. I'm Brian O, and we are the Gaming Burritos. Uh, this is Dara. Hello. This is Nathan. Hi. And that is Kel. Hello. So we are here at POD, which stands for Peace on Demand. So we are here at Cornelia, just outside Valley Castle on the north coast. The aims are to bring people together through podcasting and form of media. We have worked a bit to make a podcast about a choice that we have made. Um, I think that it's a great resource for us. It's a great resource for us to be able to do this. And it's a great pr privilege to do this. So back to the main topic, we are going to be doing a podcast about games. Uh, so on um, game in general. Yeah. So firstly, is, do video games cause violence? Uh, personally, I do not think that video games cause violence, and they just they just should be complaining about it because the government doesn't really have any proper proof. Well, like, there is a age rating on the game for, like, a recommendation. So, like, say the parents were going to buy the child a game, like, if they were to pick any, they'd probably most likely pick a game that's over their age because they know normally they wouldn't be allowed it. Yeah, because, like, uh, some of the parents don't really pay attention to when the child is picking a game for them. So... Uh, I think that the parents and the staff member in the game shop should pay more attention to when they're buying games. But it's like different, like, if you're buying a game for yourself and you have a child with you, like, it's going to be hard for the person working at the game shop or whatever, wherever you're buying the game from. Is it for the child or for the parent or guardian? That is one thing the person in the game shop needs to work out. Is the game for the adult or is it for the child? They they should also be making maybe even a recommendation saying you shouldn't be buying your child that's going to be full of inappropriate stuff, not for his or her age level. Yeah. That's full of violence and sport and all that. Yeah. Not really appropriate for the child. So another question is, why do people think they cause violence? Well, people probably think they cause violence because there has been proof in America that kids have been saying who have just committed crime, oh I've seen it in such and such game, or I've seen it in such and such game. So it is a problem, problem sometimes. Uh, like, it's just a fictional character in the game, like they're just looking to imitate them all the time, like trying to be cool and up with like that trend. And then like probably friends from school are encouraging that too. So it is a wee bit of peer pressure sometimes with this kind of stuff. Yeah, like Sometimes when somebody in their school does it, somebody will copy and then it ends up everybody start doing the wrong thing. Yeah. So, um, whose fault is it? Because I personally think that it's the parents' fault because they're the one paying for the game most of the time. And they shouldn't be allowing the child to go pick up a game uh, with that says like 13 or 18 for if they're younger than that. Yeah, uh, yeah I think the same thing. Uh, well, uh, if the parent chooses a game for the child that isn't appropriate for their age, then I don't think it would be very like, good for the child because they, they would have to like play the game and like, all that kind of stuff. But it depends on like the maturity of the child. Like if the parent thinks they're mature enough to so say they're like 12 and they thought like a 16 year old game, like let's take Halo for example, it's not very that glory. If the parent thinks that the child isn't mature enough, the parent can go on, but that's only if they're mature. The parent needs to make a responsible decision on this. Because if they do give their, what, 10 year old child an 18 plus game, they're going to be filling their heads in childhood with inappropriate pictures and yeah. stuff that they shouldn't see at their age. Um, so, no, I'm not now. We're going to be talking about what's better, Xbox or PlayStation. Go ahead, Laura. So, Xbox or PlayStation has been a very big rivalry in the gaming scene for many years now. 
with Xbox and PlayStation both releasing high-profile consoles with like with loads of people buying every console. So let's see what that's going to say. Well, like, let's start off, like, PlayStation has exclusive games. So, like, you can get Little Big Planet for the PlayStation and Sony consoles, but you can't get it for Microsoft consoles like the Xbox. Xbox, like, Xbox games, I, in my opinion, I think they come out quicker than PlayStation. Because, um, at, at Xbox games, I... I, I grew up playing with the Xbox and I really enjoyed it. It all depends really on what you grew up with. I grew up with the PlayStation and it's just what I play, so it's really a matter of opinion. I grew, I grew, up, I grew up with the Xbox. It's class. I grew up with the GameCube. And then that leads on to the third topic of um, like vintage games and consoles like you have your old consoles like your Nintendo GameCubes, your Game Boys and all that from like it's hard like I have one at home and they're good but sometimes the console stick is just a wee bit stiff because it's that old. Yeah um some people's like some people's dads or granddads Probably or, not granddad. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe dads just grew up with uh, playing with these kind of old games that we don't really like. I guess in a way they've revolutionised the future of video games with what they've originally done and now everyone is doing the same thing in terms of controllers, games, consoles. And it's like an evolution process, like yeah. go from the worst up to the best and still continuing. Yeah. Like, the new consoles for Sony and Microsoft are coming out soon. Yeah. Um, the games like Pac-Man, there's... Amazing. Mm -hmm, it is amazing. Like, there's been records and all this quite competitive for like others, but not everyone. Well, I personally think that the originals are always better. I never really like mirrored versions because they tend to ruin the storyline or if there is a storyline. Yeah, it's a bit like song in that way. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> So that leads us on to our next topic, which is... Uh, comparison to Plus 2020 versus FIFA 2020. Well, I personally think that uh, PES graphics are amazing. Uh, FIFA, the controls are a bit complicated, but... Yeah, very clumpy and very, yeah, very hard to move. Whenever I played FIFA, I found it fine, but I don't play FIFA anymore. Yeah, changes over the years, I guess. Yeah. The controls have changed too much times. You get used to one eventually, and then you'll just lose control for the next game. And it depends on the control shape, too. Like, yeah. you have like FIFA 12 for the 360, and then like 19 or 20 for the 1. I think I think that in FIFA 20 they have like an online mode yeah. where you can play against other people. But yeah. I don't think I've actually done that in PES. Well, I don't think PES have an online mode, but their offline modes are probably ten times better than what they are in FIFA. Well, yeah. PES's graphics are quite good, like they're shading and all yeah. towards it. Uh, the art's really good. Uh, some of the art was also good for us. I've seen some of it. Uh, uh, like in game time wise though, like how how is the movement and stuff in oh. the dark game? FIFA's like I, I don't know, maybe I, I think FIFA's quite good when it comes to gameplay, they just have like, the joystick on mm -hmm. somewhere and they don't go that way. I have to disagree with you there. I feel as though it is very clunky and very hard to control your player sometimes. And sometimes they don't end up doing what you want them to do, but I have the pairs. Yeah, so. I had PS 16 and it was quite hard to control because you had your camera angle like coming from here and then it goes down to here, just coming from the side like <coughs> throw ins. No, we're, we're nearly ran out of time, so I'm going to let Nathan end it off here. We've been Gaming Moritos, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to share too. Bye. Thanks. Bye.